If you're looking for a putter to last you a very long time, these are the putters to have a look at. Guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Simon here with another top five around 50 pound challenge. Obviously, we've already done a video on the drivers that went down incredibly well. So I thought I'll go through the rest of the bag and the next group that we're gonna be looking at is putters. Also quickly, just wanna say a massive thank you for the support in yesterday's video, my 30,000 subscriber giveaway contest. Basically, I bought loads of Vega heads off eBay. Go and see how much I bought them for. And um, I'm trying to flip them to obviously give us a budget to make bigger and better projects. Um, uh, and I'm gonna be giving away three custom build, three irons to three of you um, when I reach 30,000 subscribers. We're already nearly at 28,000, which is incredible. So thank you to everyone that's watching and supporting the channel. As well as I didn't plug the link, I didn't show you my eBay site, but a lot of you gone out your way and obviously trying to find these heads that I'm now selling. Um, and I just wanna say thank you. I really appreciate the support. Obviously, it's just gonna give us a budget to go on to bigger and better things. Um, uh, you didn't have to do that, but I really do appreciate the help. Um, uh, but that being said, thank you to everyone that's watching the videos. Let's do the top five putter for 50 pounds, or around there anyway. Now I have to admit, this challenge was a lot harder than the driver one, mainly because I think putters are very personal. I think if you're gonna spend money on any club in the bag, it should be your putter. However, if you're just starting the game or you're fancying a quick change, 50 pounds should be able to get you a great putter and be able to do pretty much what you want it to, whether you wanna change from a blade putter to a mallet putter, maybe one shorter, maybe one longer, etc., etc. Now, I can't look past ping for the start of this challenge. Now, I think that if you did this challenge with loads of different club fitters, pros, whatever, they'd have five different putters for myself. So, rather than just typing ping putter, we're gonna go down ping answer putter, specifically for a blade type putter. And I'm gonna go straight to sold and completed, um, so we can have a look exactly what these have been selling for. But as I said, I think it's a very personal thing, but I think all five putters that I'm listing, are quite confidently if you went and bought one of these on my recommendation you'll be like actually that's a really good putter um, I will talk about the difference between different putters however now the answer has been one of Ping's longest model very traditional um, uh, pros have been winning tournaments for years with it um, uh, and overall if you're looking for a putter to last you a very long time these are the putters to have a look at and you can see even some of these putters that are obviously quite old are still selling for a good amount of money it's all down to the length you want it and the condition that you want it i don't think a ping up putter or answer putter is going to feel different from one to another this redwood putter for example that is a great purchase right there 50 pounds for this I think I bought one of these for the channel um, not too long ago. Now in terms of condition, you can see there's a bit of wear and tear. And again, that's down to you guys. The cosmetic stuff of a putter is obviously gonna lose its value. But if you want a mint condition putter, realistically, like the difference between that redwood putter and the one down the bottom here, I imagine is purely down to the condition. Obviously this one's sold for 90 pounds, but that's gonna be in like A1 condition. But as a blade putter, and I haven't got Scotty Cameron in my list because obviously they're still selling at 100, 150 pounds. They would never, you wouldn't be able to find a Scotty Cameron 50 pounds unless a mate sold it to you. Um, but if you're looking for a traditional blade putter that just feels superb off the middle and is gonna let you know when you make a mistake, Ping Answer is my number one choice. Now moving from the blade putter, very much an arcing putting stroke, all the way to a face balance putter, um, where you probably have a more straight back and through, even that's kind of impossible. Um, uh, what kind of putter would I suggest if you want a face balance putter? You can't look past, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are gonna be thinking exactly the same thing. You can't look past the two ball putter from Odyssey. Now, depending on, that is ridiculous. That's a joke, whoever bought that. Who's got a two ball stroke lab putter, which at the start of the year was 199 for this amount of money? 
someone's had like, is that off the back of a van? Well, cheers for coming. Now, if you can get an Odyssey Stroke Lab putter with a graphite counterweight shaft and everything else for 50 pounds, that's my top choice, but that is a one in a million who ever bought that. So, fair play to your son. Um, uh, obviously, that was probably, I don't know what time that sold in the morning or in the evening. But anyway, I, I digress. Odyssey have made great two ball butt putters, um, or let's say face band putters, and pretty much have been pioneering it until the spider has probably made big waves over the last five years, I'd say the Odyssey 2 ball is pretty much the putter to go for. Now, as you can see, price is gonna vary. If you find a 2 ball that's gonna be about six years old, something like that, I'm talking traditional style, like something like this is great for a beginner. Now, someone asked me a great question the other day. So, I mean, you don't really talk about arc, arcing, putting strokes, um, straight back and through putting strokes. Obviously, if you have a more of an arcing putting stroke, i.e. you come around yourself like more, you should have a blade putter because it's toe balanced. Or you have a very straight back putting stroke, therefore you should have a face balance putter. That being said, the majority of people that start the game have so many complications with their putting stroke, their club face is the main issue. So, once you've got alignment on the back of a putter, or you've got more of a putter head to work with, I do find people's club faces align to the target better, plus they find it um, pointing at the target better at impact. That's why I'm not particularly worried about people swing past when they start the game. Yes, if you've been fitting, you've been playing for six years and putting stroke is very solid, yes, you need to get fitted, yes, you need to work out whether you've got an arcing putting stroke or face um, straight back and through putting stroke, for the beginner, too many complications. I see too many people using their hands, their wrists, moving up and down through the punk rock. That's the biggest issues. Once that's all sorted, yes, your swing path is a big issue when it comes down to putting, but start doesn't really matter. So in terms of my ultimate, ultimate face balance putter for around 50 pounds, and you guys are gonna have to do some searching and digging, I highly rate the two ball putter. And as you can see, they do vary. That there, for example, great purchase. And also you're gonna be able to sell it for similar money once you upgrade your putter. Now the first two putters will probably be in most professionals suggestion box. However, the next three I think is open to interpretation to pretty much anyone with an opinion or tried and tested. But 50 pounds is obviously quite a small budget when you're trying to find a putter. However, I think I've come up with three great suggestions and we're not just talking about old putters. So, one of the putters that I do feel was swept under the rug and no one really talked about was the Cleveland Huntington, I think I pronounced that right, putter. And these things look brand new because they're only like two years old and you can get them for 50 pounds. So what I highly recommend is that if you want something cosmetically looking great, still have good feeling for 50 pounds, these are the putters. I don't know why these didn't sell. They sold for 99 pounds, brand new. Then they went down to 89 pounds. No one really wanted them. No one really touched them. They had so many different head styles, shaft styles, whatever, for whatever reason, it flopped. Cleveland couldn't sell them, but they were, or pro shops couldn't sell them, I should say. However, these are good putters. And for the money, you can get loads of these. Like everyone watching this video, if you want to go and get a putter tomorrow, face balance, toe balance, whatever, you want it to look good, you want it to have a nice head cover, and you only want to spend 50 pounds, don't look past the Cleveland Huntington putter. For whatever reason, got overlooked. I hope a few of you have already got this putter. Leave a comment down below if you've got this putter. Leave a review. I've tried them, I test them, I highly rate them for the value of money of what you're getting. Um, uh, especially if you've got a package set putter, especially if you haven't got a putter, this is where I would start. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, number four. I'm gonna go tailor-made. This is the time before they were spending and buying the best 10 players in the world to use their putters. That is why now their putters are rivaling Scotty Cameron's. But I did have a tailor-made putter and I loved it. And I'm not gonna lie, tailor-made do make fantastic putters, but you definitely have to spend the money on them. Would I choose between a tailor-made putter and a Scotty? For me, I'd probably go Bettinardi. So, um, but as I say, it's all personal. So tailor-made, the range you should be looking for. Now there's two, I'm, I'm gonna cheat really. 
If you want a mallet putter and a tailor-made putter, don't go past the ghost. And to be honest, you're gonna get these at some great deals, guys, because the tailor-made, that, that won't sell for 51 pounds. I imagine that's gonna sell for a lot more. It's good looking putter and that's in great condition. And this is what I'm gonna say. Tailor-made ghost putters are arguably the worst putters to keep their finish since the test of time. Whatever white tipex they put on these putters, it chipped. You had to look at it and a bit of white fell off it and they looked awful. I can go through some photos in a minute and you'll see how badly these things chipped because the head cover was rubbish. So the head cover, you lost the head cover before you've even left the store. And then after that, um, uh, it just chipped against everything you could possibly see. However, if you are not worried, someone would take 50 quid for that, I bet. He's not getting 75 quid for that. That's the putter I've got, by the way. That's the putter that I've got in the bag and I highly rate it. And he'll take 50 quid for that because that's way too expensive. Um, uh, but what I'm saying is you can get some great putters, some great deals if you don't care what your putter looks like. Mine's chipped. However, does it affect the performance? No. This goes man to putter here. Great putter, 30 quid. Go and buy it. Again, Rayler. All the ghost putters were great putters. Now they can wear in the middle. Personally, I've tested a lot of putters that have been worn. I don't think they make any difference whatsoever. It's more of the paint again. But because they chip so bad and you're not fussed about what the putter looks like, you can get some putters for 30 to 40 pounds and they're great putters. So that is probably my number four choice. The other version you can go is TaylorMade TP. Um, and that's their blade version and very similar. You're gonna get a tailor-made putter for around 50 pounds. Not, I don't think the TP came in a face balance. I mean, this is kind of more face balance. But again, good putters. If you want a tailor-made putter, something similar to what they're selling now on the market, that's probably where I'd go down the route of. Otherwise, you're gonna have to spend 150, 100, 200 pounds plus to get anything similar. But I hope that makes sense. Leave me your comments down below. Okay, so my last option is a bit out there. Open to interpretation, but this is something different. This is something cool, fresh, funky, something that I want to have in my bag because no one uses them anymore. And to be honest, I think these things are class and you can get a great one for about 50 pounds. Bullseye. Officially, these were Titleist. Titleist Bullseye putters, the old, Pretty much every mini golf putter that's ever been made or um, uh, copied is the bullseye shape. The sponsor offer, Vega Iron. Good man. Um, uh, so, bullseye putter. Let's have a look because these things look so cool. I don't know if these are originals, I don't know if these are makes, whatever. However, let me go to completed. Let me show you some of these. Now, these aren't for beginners. These are for people that want to showboat. And to be honest, I haven't even hit one or tested one. That being said, I would love to. Now, I offered, I actually, I put a bid in for this um, uh, and he wanted more, understandably. But have a look at this putter. In terms of condition, this thing just looks so cool. Like, I love the flush metal of it. This isn't like a, I don't think this is, oh no, a cushionette. So a cushionette owned tightless. So I imagine this is original. It's been polished. I think it looks an absolute nuts. There's so much. There's so many of these. Odyssey make one as well. Let me see if I can find an Odyssey one. They just look so cool. And maybe this is just me. But if you want something different, if you want something that just stands out, I think these are the putters to go for. Yes, they're not going to help your golf game. But if you've been playing the game a while and you want to have something that no one else has got in the bag, and I can guarantee you no one's got these in the bag, and you're still draining some solid 10 foot putts, good on you. I personally, this is something that I'd have, and this is gonna give you 100% feedback on your putts. Like, there's gonna be zero forgiveness with these putters. But I think that's a good thing. I think it's gonna be, what is that? That looks well cool, that does. But I love just typing in, personally, one of, apart from typing in job lot, into, now this is like an original, I'm guessing, because 101 pounds that's sold for. Let's have a quick look at this. 
Um, apart from typing in golf job lots into um, eBay, I now type in, in bullseye because these things just look like that just looks, that's bad boy. That's bad boy, that's got the bad boy stamp of approval. I know that's, but you can get them for around 40 to 50 pounds. I'd love to see if I can find you an Odyssey one. And I think these might be all a cushionette. Like, I just think they look so good. Let me know what you think. Let me see if I can find an Odyssey one. Because there were some cool ones of those as well. I know they're originally their tight list. I wonder if... <laughs> okay, I can't find the one that I was looking for. But there are a lot of these putters out there. Personally, for me, these are the kind of things that I think look cool now. If you want to sell me a putter, these are the things that I now find interesting and you can get some of them at a really good deal. I'd love to buy like a like an old school one and then like do it my, like polish it myself. Can I get them that shiny? Can I stamp them? Fill them out. I mean this might be a bit OTT. However, I think they look really cool. Okay guys, there you have it. There's my top 5 for 50 pounds when you're going to buy a putter for your bag. I hope you enjoy this series. Let me know what you want to see next, whether it's going to be fairways, hybrids, irons, driving irons, whatever. And obviously we'll make that video. If you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like and subscribing, if you're new, that's awesome. Catch you guys later.